afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters, and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today, we will celebrate the memorial of St. Francis Cole. We begin our celebration. We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, let us now acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Together we say, I, I confess, confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to and you, to my brothers and sisters, and sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what, what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. God of all truth, you chose St. Francis to make known the name of your Son and to instruct Christian people in holiness by the help of his prayers. May the true faith be continually sustained and grow through the ministry of preaching. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After much debate had taken place, Peter got up and said to the apostles and the priest beaters, My brothers, you are well aware that from early days, God made his choice among you that through my mouth the Gentiles would hear the word of the gospel and believe. And God, who knows the heart, bore witness by granting them the Holy Spirit, just as he did us. He made no distinction between us and them, for by faith he purified their hearts why then are you now putting God to the test by placing on the shoulders of the, of the disciples a yoke that neither our ancestors nor we have been able to bear? On the contrary, we believe that we are saved through the grace of the Lord Jesus in the same way as they. The whole assembly fell silent and they listened while Paul and Barnabas described the signs and wonders God had worked among the Gentiles through them. After they had fallen silent, James responded, My brothers, Listen to me. Simeon has described how God first concerned himself with acquiring from among the Gentiles a people for his name. The words of the prophets agree with this, as is written. After this, I shall return and rebuild the fallen heart of David from its ruins I shall rebuild it and raise it up again so that the rest of the humanity may seek out the Lord, even all the Gentiles on whom my name is invoked. Thus says the Lord who accomplishes these things known from of old. It is my judgment, therefore, that we ought to stop troubling the Gentiles who turn to God, but tell them by letter 
to avoid pollution from idols, unlawful marriage, the meat of strangled animals, and blood. For Moses, for generations now, has had those who proclaim him in every town, as he has been read in the synagogues every Sabbath. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs the peoples with equity. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Please stand. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you, and your joy might be complete. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang hapon po muli sa ating lahat. Noong ako ay seminarista pa lamang, naalala ko na lahat po kami ay dumadaan sa isang tinatawag na individual consultation sa aming mga formators. Regular po yung schedule na yon. Hindi lalagpas ang taon na hindi ka dadaan doon sa consultation or dialogue doon sa iyong formator. And every time na nagkakaroon ng dialogue or consultation with our formator, isa sa madalas niyang tinatanong sa amin ay, Are you happy? Masaya ka pa ba? And every time na natatanong yon sa amin, pare-pareho ang experience namin. Ang hirap sagutin. Ang hirap sagutin. Minsan, sinasabing simple and straight, oo. Oh. Minsan, sinasagot na lang sa pamamagitan ng ngiti. O minsan, natutulala ka na lang talaga kasi hindi mo alam paano sagutin yung tanong na yon. Are you happy? Masaya ka pa ba? Marahil, ang karanasan na yon, doon sa tanong na yon, eh, naranasan nyo na rin. Kapag siguro kayo ay tinanong ngayon, Are you happy? Hindi mo kategorically na masabing, Yes, I am happy. Because of the back of your mind, tinatanong mo rin yung sarili mo, Talaga bang masaya ako? And the reason behind of that is that the answer to that question is very arbitrary. Arbitrary. Iba-iba talaga yung sagot natin sa tanong na yun. It might be ang sagot natin something very personal. It might be ang sagot natin something that is, you know, idealistic na sagot. Iba-iba. Ang hirap i-grasp solidly para magbigay sa tanong na yung, are you happy? 
Kasi kung titignan natin, nakakatuwa nga minsan ang mga sagot natin sa tanong na yun. Eh. Minsan, ang sagot natin sa tanong na yung, are you happy, masaya ka ba? Eh, yung sagot na, yes, I am happy, pero yung reason behind kung bakit ka masaya, mali. But you are happy. Yun yung experience mo based on your emotion. Opo, masaya ako. Bakit? Nanalo po ako sa eleksyon. Kasi nandaya ako. <laughs> Pero yung sabihin na ganun. Yes, you are right that you're happy. But the reason that you are happy is wrong. Pwede rin sabihin mong, Yes, I am happy. And tama naman yung reason mo. But deep, at the back of your mind, you know that that happiness does not last. Halimbawa, nung nakaraang mga linggo, nagkaroon po kami ng graduation dito sa aming skwelahan. And everyone was happy. Happy because they know na natapos nila yung kanilang taon. Nakapag-graduate na sila. Natapos na, kanila, natapos na nila yung pag-aaral nila. Pero alam nila, This happiness that they have experienced during the graduation is not lasting. Bakit? Eh, haharap sila sa mahaba pang journey ng buhay. You know? Ngayon, di nila alam kung saan sila pupunta. Ano na mangyayari sa buhay ko? Yun yung mga tanong nila. It does not last. In a way, ang hirap talaga sagutin ng tanong na yun. Are you happy? Are you happy? What makes you happy? Sa Ebanghelyo na nabasa natin sa araw na ito, our Lord Jesus Christ offers to us an answer to that question. He said, I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy, your happiness, might be complete. And where does that happiness comes from? If we remain in His love. Nasa pagmamahal ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Thus, for us Christians, if we say that we are happy, we are happy because of that reason. Because I love based on the love of Christ. Because I love like my Savior, Jesus Christ. So kung tayo kristyano at tinanong tayo, are you happy? Ang expected na nasagot natin, yes, I am happy because I love like Christ. At yun ang ino-offer sa atin na sagot ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Pero itatanong natin, paano nga ba magmahal kagaya ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo? Paano ba natin makikita na magmamahal tayo, nagmamahal tayo, kapareho ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo? Ang klarong-klarong definition ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo sa kanyang pagmamahal are those very words that He offered on the cross. When you lay down your life, one's life, for your friends, for the other person. That is love. Kaya nga ang crucifix, yung cross na tinitignan natin, is not anymore a symbol of pain, not anymore a symbol of sacrifice, but a show of love of God for all of us. Minsan, nagbigay ko po kami ng, ano, ng isang pre-K na seminar sa mga gusto mag-asawa. And one thing that was made clear that yung pagmamahalan ng, pag ng mag-asawa ay dapat nakabase sa pagmamahal ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. And that love is the love that knows how to offer one's life for one's friend. Kaya tinanong yung mga magpapakasal, O oh, kayo ba? 
Handa ba kayong ialay ang buhay ninyo para sa inyong mapapangasawa? Alam niyo po ang sagot, sabi, depende. <laughs> depende daw sa asawa. Kung mabait, okay. Pag hindi, mahala siya sa buhay niya. <laughs> Ganun yung sagot. But you see, if you really look at the love of Christ for all of us, walang depende. Walang depende. When He offered His life for all of us, for us to be saved, It was for everyone. Unfaithful man tayo sa Diyos, makasalanan man tayo, nagkaroon man tayo ng pagkakamali, faithful man tayo sa Kanya. Whatever status in life that you have, ang sinasabi sa krus, minamahal ka ng Diyos. And that is something very challenging, lalong-lalo sa panahon natin ngayon. Because if you are going to see it, mas umiiral yung pagmamahal sa sarili kaysa pagmamahal sa ibang tao. No wonder, pag titignan mo yung mga pangalan ng ating mga gadgets ngayon, it's an I. iPhone, iPad. It's about the I. Not about the you and the we. It's about only myself. Individualistic attitude ang umiiral. Pagmamahal sa sarili. No wonder, ang dami yatang malulungkot. Ang dami yatang nadidepress. Bakit? Eh, yung sarili lagi tinitingnan. Eh, kapag nakikita natin lagi ang ating sarili, ano makikita natin? Do we find perfection? Do we find contentment? Ang hirap mahanap nun sa sarili, ano? No wonder why our Lord Jesus Christ offers to us that point of view to love not only oneself but most especially the other person right beside you, in front of you, even the one behind you. And if we are able to embrace that kind of love, our joy may be complete. Paano malalaman na yung pagmamahal na yun ng ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo nasa sa atin na? Alam nyo, sa tingin ko, kapag ka nagmamahal tayo, nagiging kamukha natin yung minamahal natin. Nagiging kamukha natin yung minamahal natin. Kaya nga, no wonder, yung nagmamahal ng pera, anong tawag natin? Mukhang pera. Kasi nagkikikamukha na yung pera. No wonder, ganun yung ano natin. Kaya yan sinasabi ko, kung sinong minamahal natin, nagiging kamukha natin yon. Kaya tignan natin yung mga minamahal natin. Ready ba tayong maging kamukha yan? But kidding aside, look at what the love of God you know, brought him into. Dahil mahal na mahal tayo ng Diyos, naging tao ang Diyos kagaya natin. Mahal tayo ng Diyos, kaya naging kamuka tayo ng Diyos. And now He offers to us that opportunity to love Him back nang sa gayon, maging kamuka natin ang Diyos at matawag tayong mga anak ng Diyos. Kaya sa question, paano natin malalaman na nasa sa atin na yung pagmamahal ng Diyos? Eh di tanungin natin yung mga nasa paligid natin. Kapag ka nakikita nila tayo, sino ang nakikita nila? Kung yung mga magulang na nandirito, kapag ka nakikita tayo ng mga anak natin, sino ang nakikita nila sa atin? Nakikita ba nila yung Diyos sa atin? Kung yung mga anak na nandirito, kapag ka nakikita tayo ng mga magulang natin, anong sinasabi nila? Sinasabi ba nila, Anghel ka talaga, anak? O demonyo ka talaga, anak, ang sakit ka sa ulo. <laughs> o kapag ka nakakasama natin yung mga katrabaho natin, ano ang sinasabi nila? Hay, salamat, nandito na naman siya. Parang langit ang buhay ko. O baka naman nagtatago sila at nagkukubli kasi, naku, impyerno na naman. If we are able to love like Christ, then our joy will be complete. Kaya ang tanong, masaya ba tayo? Magsita yung po tayong lahat. 
Christ says, If you remain in me and my words remain in you, you may ask what you will and you shall get it. Let us pray confidently inspired by his words. In every petition, let our answer be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That our church may become a true community producing fruits of love and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That unbelievers may encounter God in the love of Christians. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That married couples may be faithful in their love for each other and so bear witness to their Christian faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may be steadfast in their faith and remain united with Jesus even in suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have departed from this life may rejoice forever in God's heavenly home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now in the silence of our hearts, we offer our personal and our particular intentions, and we also pray for the intentions of this Mass. God our Father, hear our prayers and fill our hearts with your love so that we may always live in a way that pleases you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Lord, we offer you this sacrifice of praise in memory of your saints. May their prayers keep us from evil now and in the future. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us on the festival of St. Francis Cole, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthened her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Dominic, St. Francis Cole, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb, Lamb of, of God, God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, the Son of Mary. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, roof 
but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Corpus e sanguinis Christi custodia me in vita eterna. May the body be Please stand. Let us pray. Lord God, St. Francis Cole loved you and gave himself completely in the service of your church. May the Eucharist awaken in us that same love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
Bago po tayo magtapos ng misa, ako po ay magpapasalamat sa ating lector commentators, sa ating acolyte and Eucharistic ministers, at sa inyong lahat po na nakiisa sa misa ito. Maraming maraming salamat. Ingat po tayo sa ating pag-uwit. Nawabaw ninyo pong pagpapala ng ating Panginoong Diyos sa pamamagitan ng ating mahal na ina, ang Birhen ng Santo Rosario ng Manawag. Muli po, maraming maraming salamat. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We all go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and the blessing of our rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that, in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May these rosaries, images, candles, oils, and other religious articles, our devotees and pilgrims, be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.